Great Books of the Western World is a series of books originally published in the United States in 1952, by Encyclopædia Britannica, Inc., to present the great books in a 54-volume set. The original editors had three criteria for including a book in the series, the book must be relevant to contemporary matters, and not only important in its historical context, it must be rewarding to re-read, and it must be a part of the great conversation about the great ideas, relevant to at least 25 of the 102 great ideas identified by the editors. The books were not chosen on the basis of ethnic and cultural inclusiveness, historical influence, or the editor's agreement with the views expressed by the authors. A second edition was published in 1990 in 60 volumes. Some translations were updated, some works were removed, and there were significant additions from the 20th century. Topic. History The project for the Great Books of the Western World began at the University of Chicago, where the president, Robert Hutchins, collaborated with Mortimer Adler to develop a course generally aimed at business people for the purpose of filling the gaps in their liberal education, to render the reader as an intellectually rounded man or woman familiar with the great books of the Western canon, and knowledgeable of the great ideas developed in the course of three millennia. An original student of the project was William Benton, later a U.S. Senator, and then Chief Executive Officer of the Encyclopædia Britannica Publishing Company, who proposed selecting the greatest books of the Western canon, and that Hutchins and Adler produce unabridged editions for publication, by Encyclopædia Britannica. Hutchins was at first wary of the idea, fearing that commodifying the books would devalue them as cultural artifacts. Nevertheless, he agreed to the business deal and was paid $60,000 for his work on the project. After deciding what subjects and authors to include, and how to present the materials, the project was begun, with a budget of $2 million. On April 15, 1952, the Great Books of the Western World were presented at a publication party in the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, in New York City. In his speech, Hutchins said, This is more than a set of books, and more than a liberal education. Great Books of the Western World is an act of piety. Here are the sources of our being. Here is our heritage. This is the West. This is its meaning for mankind. The first two sets of books were given to Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom, and to Harry S. Truman, the incumbent U.S. President. The initial sales of the book sets were poor, with only 1,863 sets sold in 1952, and less than one-tenth of that number of book sets were sold in 1953. A financial debacle loomed until Encyclopædia Britannica altered the sales strategy, and sold the book set through experienced door-to-door -door encyclopedia salesmen, as Hutchins had feared, but, through that method, 50,000 sets were sold in 1961. In 1963 the editors published Gateway to the Great Books, a ten-volume set of readings meant to introduce the authors and the subjects of the Great Books. Each year, from 1961 to 1998, the editors published The Great Ideas Today, an annual updating about the applicability of the Great Books to contemporary life. The Internet and the e-book reader have made available some of the great books of the Western world in an online format. Great 
Topic Volumes. Originally published in 54 volumes, The Great Books of the Western World covers categories including fiction, history, poetry, natural science, mathematics, philosophy, drama, politics, religion, economics, and ethics. Hutchins wrote the first volume, titled The Great Conversation, as an introduction and discourse on liberal education. Adler sponsored the next two volumes, The Great Ideas, a Syntopicon, as a way of emphasizing the unity of the set and, by extension, of Western thought in general. A team of indexers spent months compiling references to such topics as, Man's Freedom in Relation to the Will of God, and the denial of void or vacuum in favor of a plenum. They grouped the topics into 102 chapters, for which Adler wrote 102 introductions. Four colors identify each volume by subject area. Imaginative literature, mathematics and the natural sciences, history and social science, and philosophy and theology. The volumes contained the following works. Topic. Volume 1 The Great Conversation Topic. Volume 2 Syntopicon I, Angel, Animal, Aristocracy, Art, Astronomy, Beauty, Being, Cause, Chance, Change, Citizen, Constitution, Courage, Custom and Convention, Definition, Democracy, Desire, Dialectic, Duty, Education, Element, Emotion, Eternity, Evolution, Experience, Family, Fate, Form, God, Good and Evil, Government, Habit, Happiness, History, Honor, Hypothesis, Idea, Immortality, Induction, Infinity, Judgment, Justice, Knowledge, Labor, Language, Law, Liberty, Life and Death, Logic, and Love. Topic. Volume 3 Syntopicon II, Man, Mathematics, Matter, Mechanics, Medicine, Memory and Imagination, Metaphysics, Mind, Monarchy, Nature, Necessity and Contingency, Oligarchy, One and Many, Opinion, Opposition, Philosophy, Physics, Pleasure and Pain, Poetry, Principle, Progress, Prophecy, Prudence, Punishment, Quality, Quantity, Reasoning, Relation, Religion, Revolution, Rhetoric, Same and Other, Science, Sense, Sign and Symbol, Sin, Slavery, Soul, Space, State, Temperance, Theology, Time, Truth, Tyranny, Universal and Particular, Virtue and Vice, War and Peace, Wealth, Will, Wisdom, and World. Topic. Volume 4 Homer rendered into English prose by Samuel Butler The Iliad The Odyssey Topic. Volume 5 Aeschylus translated into English verse by G. M. Cookson the Suppliant Maidens The Persians Seven Against Thebes Prometheus Bound The Orestia Agamemnon Choephoroi The Eumenides Sophocles, translated into English prose by Sir Richard C. Jebb The Oedipus Cycle Oedipus the King Oedipus at Colonus 
Antigone, Ajax, Electra, The Trachiniae, Philoctetes, Euripides, translated into English prose by Edward P. Coleridge, Rhesus, Medea, Hippolytus, Alcestis, Heracleidae, The Suppliants, Trojan Women, Ion, Helen, Andromache, Electra, Bachance, Hecuba, Heracles Mad, Phoenician Women, Orestes Iphigenia in Tauris, Iphigenia in Aulis, Cyclops, Aristophanes, translated into English verse by Benjamin Bickley Rogers, The Acharnians, The Knights, The Clouds, The Wasps, Peace, The Birds, The Frogs Lysistrata, the Smophoriazuse, Ecclesiazuse, Plutus. Topic Volume Six. Herodotus, the History, translated by George Rawlinson. Thucydides. History of the Peloponnesian War, translated by Richard Crawley and revised by R. Feetham. Topic Volume Seven. Plato. The Dialogues, translated by Benjamin Jowett. Charmides. Lysis. Latches, Protagoras, Euthydemus, Cratylus, Phaedras, Ion, Symposium, Meno, Euthyphro, Apology, Crito, Phaedo, Gorgias, The Republic Timaeus, Critias, Parmenides, Theodetus, Sophist, Statesman, Philebus, Laws, The Seventh Letter, translated by J. Harward. Topic Volume Eight. Aristotle Categories On Interpretation Prior Analytics Posterior Analytics Topics Sophistical Refutations Physics On the Heavens On Generation and Corruption Meteorology Metaphysics On the Soul Minor Biological Works Topic Volume Nine Aristotle History of Animals Parts of Animals On the Motion of Animals On the Gait of Animals on the Generation of Animals Nicomachean Ethics Politics The Athenian Constitution Rhetoric Poetics Topic, Volume 10 Hippocrates Works Galen 
on the natural faculties. Topic Volume Eleven. Euclid. The thirteen books of Euclid's Elements. Archimedes. On the sphere and cylinder. Measurement of a circle. On conoids and spheroids. On spirals. On the equilibrium of planes. The sand reckoner. The quadrature of the parabola. On floating bodies. Book of lemmas. The method treating of mechanical problems. Apollonius of Persia. On conic sections. Nicomachus of Jurassa. Introduction to arithmetic. Topic Volume Twelve. Lucretius. On the nature of things, translated by H. A. J. Monroe. Epictetus. The Discourses, translated by George Long. Marcus Aurelius. The Meditations, translated by George Long. Topic Volume Thirteen. Virgil, translated into English verse by James Rhodes. Eclogues. Georgics. Aeneid. Topic Volume Fourteen. Plutarch. The Lives of the Noble Grecians and Romans, translated by John Dryden. Topic Volume Fifteen. P. Cornelius Tacitus, translated by Alfred John Church and William Jackson Broadrib. The Annals. The Histories. Topic Volume Sixteen. Ptolemy. Almagest, translated by R. Catesby Taliaferro. Nicolaus Copernicus. On the Revolutions of Heavenly Spheres, translated by Charles Glenn Wallace. Johannes Kepler, translated by Charles Glenn Wallace. Epitome of Copernican Astronomy, Books IVV. The Harmonies of the World, Book V. Topic Volume Seventeen. Plotinus. The Six Aeneids, translated by Stephen McKenna and B. S. Page. Topic Volume Eighteen. Augustine of Hippo The Confessions The City of God On Christian Doctrine Topic Volume 19 Thomas Aquinas Summa Theologica, first part complete, selections from second part, translated by the Fathers of the English Dominican Province and revised by Daniel J. Sullivan. Topic, Volume 20 Thomas Aquinas Summa Theologica, selections from second and third parts and supplement, translated by the Fathers of the English Dominican Province and revised by Daniel J. Sullivan. Topic, 
Volume 21 Dante Alighieri The Divine Comedy, translated by Charles Eliot Norton Topic, Volume 22 Geoffrey Chaucer Troilus and Chryside The Canterbury Tales Topic, Volume 23 Niccolò Machiavelli The Prince Thomas Hobbes Leviathan Topic Volume twenty four Francois Rabelais Gargantua and Pantagruel Topic Volume twenty five Michel A. Chem de Montaigne Essays Topic Volume twenty six William Shakespeare The first part of King Henry the Sixth The second part of King Henry the Sixth The third part of King Henry the Sixth the Tragedy of Richard III The Comedy of Errors Titus Andronicus The Taming of the Shrew The Two Gentlemen of Verona Love's Labours Lost Romeo and Juliet The Tragedy of King Richard II A Midsummer Night's Dream the Life and Death of King John The Merchant of Venice The First Part of King Henry IV The Second Part of King Henry IV Much Ado About Nothing The Life of King Henry V Julius Caesar As You Like It Topic, Volume 27 William Shakespeare Twelfth Night, or, What You Will The Tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark The Merry Wives of Windsor Troilus and Cressida All's Well That Ends Well Measure for Measure Othello, The Moor of Venice King Lear Macbeth Antony and Cleopatra Coriolanus Timon of Athens Pericles, Prince of Tyre Cymbeline The Winter's Tale The Tempest the famous history of the life of King Henry VIII Sonnets Topic. Volume 28 William Gilbert On the Lodestone and Magnetic Bodies Galileo Galilei Dialogues Concerning the Two New Sciences William Harvey On the Motion of the Heart and Blood in Animals On the Circulation of Blood On the Generation of Animals Topic. Volume 29 Miguel de Cervantes The History of Don Quixote de la Mancha Topic, Volume 30 Sir Francis Bacon The Advancement of Learning 
Novum Organum, New Atlantis. Topic Volume Thirty One. René Descartes Rules for the Direction of the Mind Discourse on the Method Meditations on First Philosophy Objections against the Meditations and Replies The Geometry Benedict de Spinoza Ethics Topic, Volume 32 John Milton English Minor Poems Paradise Lost Samson Agonistes Areopagitica Topic, Volume 33 Blaise Pascal The Provincial Letters Ponsais Scientific and Mathematical Essays Topic, Volume 34 Sir Isaac Newton Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy Optics Christian Huygens Treatise on Light Topic Volume thirty five John Locke A Letter Concerning Toleration Concerning Civil Government, Second Essay an Essay Concerning Human Understanding George Barclay The Principles of Human Knowledge David Hume An Enquiry Concerning Human Understanding Topic, Volume 36 Jonathan Swift Gulliver's Travels Lawrence Stern The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy, Gentleman Topic, Volume 37 Henry Fielding The History of Tom Jones, A Foundling Topic, Volume 38 Charles de Secondat, Baron de Montesquieu The Spirit of the Laws Jean-Jacques Rousseau A Discourse on the Origin of Inequality A Discourse on Political Economy The Social Contract Topic, Volume 39 Adam Smith An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of Nations Topic, Volume 40 Edward Gibbon The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, Part 1 Topic, Volume 41 Edward Gibbon The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, Part 2 Topic, Volume 42 Immanuel Kant Critique of Pure Reason Fundamental Principles of the Metaphysic of Morals Critique of Practical Reason Excerpts from the Metaphysics of Morals 
preface and introduction to the metaphysical elements of ethics with a note on conscience General introduction to the metaphysic of morals The science of right The critique of judgment Topic Volume 43 American State Papers Declaration of Independence Articles of Confederation The Constitution of the United States of America Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, John J. The Federalist John Stuart Mill On Liberty Considerations on representative government Utilitarianism Volume 44 James Boswell The Life of Samuel Johnson, LL.D. Topic Volume forty five Antoine Laurent Lavoisier Elements of Chemistry Jean Baptiste Joseph Fourier Analytical Theory of Heat Michael Faraday Experimental Researches in Electricity Topic. Volume 46 Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel The Philosophy of Right The Philosophy of History Topic. Volume 47 Johann Wolfgang von Goethe Faust Topic Volume 48 Herman Melville Moby Dick or The Whale Topic Volume 49 Charles Darwin the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection The Descent of Man, and Selection in Relation to Sex Topic. Volume 50 Karl Marx Capital Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels Manifesto of the Communist Party Topic Volume 51 Count Leo Tolstoy War and Peace Topic Volume 52 Fyodor Mikhailovich Dostoevsky The Brothers Karamazov Topic Volume 53 William James The Principles of Psychology Topic Volume 54 Sigmund Freud The Origin and Development of Psychoanalysis Selected Papers on Hysteria The Sexual Enlightenment of Children The Future Prospects of Psychoanalytic Therapy Observations on Wild Psychoanalysis The Interpretation of Dreams on narcissism instincts and their vicissitudes repression 
the unconscious a general introduction to psychoanalysis beyond the pleasure principle group psychology and the analysis of the ego the ego and the id inhibitions symptoms and anxiety thoughts for the times on war and death civilization and its discontents new introductory lectures on psychoanalysis topic second edition the second edition of great books of the western world 1990 saw an increase from 54 to 60 volumes with updated translations the six new volumes concerned the 20th century, an era of which the first edition's sole representative was Freud. Some of the other volumes were rearranged, with even more pre-20th century material added but with four texts deleted, Apollonius on conic sections, Lawrence Stern's Tristram Shandy, Henry Fielding's Tom Jones, and Joseph Fourier's Analytical Theory of Heat. Adler later expressed regret about dropping on conic sections and Tom Jones. Adler also voiced disagreement with the addition of Voltaire's Candide, and said that the Syntopicon should have included references to the Quran. He addressed criticisms that the set was too heavily Western European and did not adequately represent women and minority authors. The added pre-20th century texts appear in these volumes some of the accompanying content of these volumes differs from the first edition volume of that number. Topic. Volume 20 John Calvin Institutes of the Christian Religion Selections. Topic. Volume 23 Erasmus The Praise of Folly Topic. Volume 31 Moliere The School for Wives The Critique of the School for Wives Tartuffe, Don Juan, The Miser, The Would-Be Gentleman, The Imaginary Invalid, Jean Racine, Berenice, Fedre. Topic, Volume Thirty Four, Voltaire. Candide, Denis Diderot, Rameau's nephew. Topic, Volume Forty Three. Soren Kierkegaard, Fear and Trembling, Friedrich Nietzsche, Beyond Good and Evil. Topic. Volume 44 Alexis de Tocqueville Democracy in America Topic. Volume 45 Honoré de Balzac Cousin Betty Topic. Volume 46 Jane Austen Emma George Eliot Middlemarch Topic. Volume 47 Charles Dickens 
Little Dorrit Topic Volume forty eight Mark Twain Huckleberry Finn Topic Volume fifty two Henrik Ibsen A Doll's House The Wild Duck Hedda Gabler The Master Builder The contents of the six volumes of added 20th century material Topic. Volume 55 William James Pragmatism Henri Bergson An Introduction to Metaphysics John Dewey Experience and Education Alfred North Whitehead Science and the Modern World Bertrand Russell The Problems of Philosophy Martin Heidegger what is metaphysics? Ludwig Wittgenstein Philosophical investigations Karl Barth The Word of God and the Word of Man Topic, Volume 56 Henri Poincaré Science and Hypothesis Max Planck Scientific Autobiography and Other Papers Alfred North Whitehead An Introduction to Mathematics Albert Einstein Relativity, The Special and the General Theory Arthur Eddington The Expanding Universe Niels Bohr Atomic Theory and the Description of Nature Selections. Discussion with Einstein on Epistemology G. H. Hardy A Mathematician's Apology Werner Heisenberg Physics and Philosophy Erwin Schrödinger What is Life? Theodosius Dobzhansky Genetics and the Origin of Species C. H. Waddington The Nature of Life Topic. Volume 57 Thorstein Veblen The Theory of the Leisure Class R. H. Tani. The Acquisitive Society. John Maynard Keynes. The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money. Topic. Volume 58. Sir James George Fraser. The Golden Bow Selections. Max Weber Essays in Sociology Selections. Johann Hizinga The Autumn of the Middle Ages Claude Lévy-Strauss Structural Anthropology Selections. Topic. Volume 59 Henry James The Beast in the Jungle George Bernard Shaw Saint Joan Joseph Conrad Heart of Darkness Anton Chekhov Uncle Vanya Luigi Pirandello Six Characters in Search of an Author Marcel Proust Remembrance of Things Past, Swan in Love, 
Willa Cather A Lost Lady Thomas Mann Death in Venice James Joyce A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man Topic Volume 60 Virginia Woolf To the Lighthouse Franz Kafka The Metamorphosis D. H. Lawrence The Prussian Officer T. S. Eliot The Waste Land Eugene O'Neill Morning Becomes Electra F. Scott Fitzgerald the Great Gatsby William Faulkner A Rose for Emily Bertolt Brecht Mother Courage and Her Children Ernest Hemingway The Short Happy Life of Francis Macomber George Orwell Animal Farm Samuel Beckett Waiting for Godot Topic. Criticisms and responses Topic. Authors The choice of authors has come under attack with some dismissing the project as a celebration of dead European males, ignoring contributions of women and non-European authors. The criticism swelled in tandem with the feminist and civil rights movements. Similarly, in his Europe, A History, Norman Davies criticizes the compilation for overrepresenting selected parts of the Western world, especially Britain and the U.S., while ignoring the other, particularly Central and Eastern Europe. According to his calculation, in 151 authors included in both editions, there are 49 English or American authors, 27 Frenchmen, 20 Germans, 15 Ancient Greeks, 9 Ancient Romans, 4 Russians, 4 Scandinavians, 3 Spaniards, 3 Italians, 3 Irishmen, 3 Scots, and 3 Eastern Europeans. Prejudices and preferences, he concludes, are self-evident. In response, such criticisms have been derided as ad hominem and biased in themselves. The counter-argument maintains that such criticisms discount the importance of books solely because of generic, imprecise and possibly irrelevant characteristics of the book's authors, rather than because of the content of the books themselves. Topic. Works Others thought that while the selected authors were worthy, too much emphasis was placed on the complete works of a single author rather than a wider selection of authors and representative works for instance, all of Shakespeare's plays are included. The second edition of the set already contained 130 authors and 517 individual works. The editors point out that the guides to additional reading for each topic in the Syntopicon refer the interested reader to many more authors. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Difficulty. The scientific and mathematical selections came under criticism for being incomprehensible to the average reader, especially with the absence of any sort of critical apparatus. The second edition did drop two scientific works, by Apollonius and Fourier, in part because of their perceived difficulty for the average reader. 
Nevertheless, the editors steadfastly maintain that average readers are capable of understanding far more than the critics deem possible. Robert Hutchins stated this view in the introduction to the first edition. Because the great bulk of mankind have never had the chance to get a liberal education, it cannot be proved that they can get it. Neither can it be proved that they cannot. The statement of the ideal, however, is a value in indicating the direction that education should take. Rationale Since the great majority of the works were still in print, one critic noted that the company could have saved $2 million and simply written a list. Encyclopædia Britannica's aggressive promotion produced solid sales. Dense formatting also did not help readability. The second edition selected translations that were generally considered an improvement, though the cramped topography remained. Through reading plans and the Syntopicon, the editors have attempted to guide readers through the set. Topic: <laughs> Response to criticisms. The editors responded that the set contains wide-ranging debates representing many viewpoints on significant issues, not a monolithic school of thought. Mortimer Adler argued in the introduction to the second edition, presenting a wide variety and divergence of views or opinions, among which there is likely to be some truth but also much more error, the Syntopicon and by extension the larger set itself invites readers to think for themselves and make up their own minds on every topic under consideration. See also John Erskine Charles W. Eliot Robert Maynard Hutchins Mortimer J. Adler Educational perennialism Western canon Great books Harvard classics Liberal arts <laughs>